Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to share a very quick comparison of these two different decks. One is Delta Sigma deck from SMS Audio, which features Asahi Kasi EKM 4499EX dual balance chip design with high resolution audio certified D400EX with Dina Fripp's Aries 12 R2R deck. So both of them are comparable price range. So D400EX retail for just under $900 and Aries 12 retail for around a thousand US dollar range depending on the exchange rate. So I want to share my quick comparison and using them back to back here in my system, pairing with leather bug R2 or fully balanced class A pre-amplifier with using 500 watts ice power class D mono blocks driving the JBL speaker and TED S1E8 speaker from Pioneer as well as using recently featured and made Mogami W3082 based speaker wires in this review. Sony Music Server serving USB cable directly to these decks and playing with JBL 100 Classic 75th Anniversary Edition speakers which retail for around $5,500. So that's why you will hear in sound sample here in this video. I was also getting a lot of questions about these two different decks. A lot of people are wondering which one to go with. So that is depending on your system and your need, right? So pairing component is very important. Both of them are very capable, high quality deck that you can have in the price range. Oh, by the way, this Dina Fripps Aries 12 is upgraded the latest firmware and it changed a little bit in terms of uh, sound quality. To me, it gets more refined sound quality out of this Aries 12. High frequencies are a little bit more well controlled and a little bit more refined sound than the uh, previous firmware version in my system. So I try them back to back using my components and I find it R2 R decks are highly capable of getting really good texture and well-rounded notes with nice and engaging tonal balance. That is uh, one major selling point of R2 R decks in general. So when I try them back to back, I find this uh, Aries 12 have a really nice and white soundscape with nice amount of instrument separation with very well defined mid range and control high frequency extension. By the way, I was using in not over sampling mode. And then I try over sampling and non over sampling. After the firmware upgrade, I kind of like a little bit more on not over sampling mode. So I end up only using non over sampling mode in this comparison. So when I was listening, a lot of music, everything is enjoyable, very engaging tone and balance with very well behaved high frequency extension and really good mid range. That, that is the major selling point in my opinion. Nice and engaging mid range that it can produce. But bass quality, right? Bass quality, I always want a little bit more attack and a little bit more definition in lower range of bass reproduction out of any kind of R2 or DEX aside from the higher end like Terminator or that kind of DEX. So that is a little downside for me. Other than that, voices and vocals and everything is very natural and as smooth as it can be in this price point. Then when I switch over to SMS Audio D400EX, immediately what I can notice is soundscape is wider and more spacious and a little bit better instrument separation, a little bit more area, high frequency extension with nice and smooth 
kind of uh, toner balance is very well maintained yet a little bit more dynamic and well spaced out frequency notes and extension that I can clearly hear it in my system. If you have a clean and transparent sounding system, either of these decks can work great. Bass quality, I have to give it to D400EX. Mid range, it's about equal, but I slightly prefer a little bit more spacious notes in uh, D400EX mid range quality, but D400EX is uh, a little bit, you know, like more spacious, but it can get a tiny bit of brightness on uh, some recording. So that is a little downside for me. But Aries 12, compared to previous version of firmware, that kind of brightness is almost non-existent. Even I'm using with JBL 100 Classic 70 Fit, so that is a big plus. But if you're really into very wide and spacious soundstage, D400EX is way to go, as well as giving you very enjoyable, very highly accurate mid-range quality and tone balance that if you are after D400EX is a great buy. If you want well-behaved, engaging sound, analog like sound reproduction with very uh, enjoyable mid-range and upper mid-range to high frequency extension, but slightly smaller scale and soundscape that if you're after that Dina Fritz Aries 12 can deliver that for you. So, I mean, it's depending on what your take is, right? I can live with either deck. So if you are after R2 or deck, the Dina Fritz Aries 12 is great option for you to have. If you are after a highly capable Delta Sigma deck, the D400EX is the must have Delta Sigma deck in a thousand dollar price range. Both of them can totally transform your system in improving sound quality and giving you countless hours of music enjoying experience only comes down to pairing component and your personal preferences choose based on what you need and what you prefer so that is my sincere advice both of these decks are my highly recommended decks in this price point so that is the experience that i would like to share with you thank you very much for watching and happy listening
keeps me searching for a heart of gold Keeps me searching and I'm growing on Keeps me searching for a heart of gold I've been a miner for a heart of gold And I'm getting old I've been a miner 